That's just biblical. This is the BSI-2 thruster. Like its predecessor, it relies on tens of thousands of volts to create thrust using no moving parts. Oh my god. It's half the size, moves twice as much air, and is much more durable. Its predecessor was a decent first prototype, but uh, it was actually quite basic. Eventually, the defeat got me. The universe needed the BSI Mark II. So I started with some 3D design and acrylic work. After a couple days of 3D printing, I was able to assemble the three stages together. 36 gauge, which is much thinner, and aerodynamic tubing. I also shortened the spacing between the stages by about 10 millimeters. Total weight now equaled 450 grams, 10% lighter than the first BSI thruster. Let's test these changes. And this is full power at about 90 watts. Four? Dude, that's a huge improvement. So I wanted to see the airflow on the final thruster, and the results blew me away. 